Hello and welcome to my channel. Today is a special day because as you can see, it's Mother's Day. So happy, happy Mother's Day to all of the mommies out there, especially here in England and United Kingdom. And I'd like to greet my beautiful and beloved wife, Joyce. Uh, happy, happy Mother's Day to you. And to my mother-in-law, Nanai, uh, Meli um, Mendoza. And to all my sisters, sisters-in-law, and everybody that I know. And all of you that are celebrating Mother's Day today. Although it's a, uh, it's a, uh, there's a uh, negative vibes going around. But we will not be affected with that because God is in control. God is in total control of everything. We will go through this and we will uh, surpass everything. And God will pour out his blessings upon us and this will be wiped out in the name of Jesus. So, so today we are going to cook a very special dish. Which is my wife's favorite and my favorite as well. And it is... Actually, my wife's uh, special recipe, which is kare kare. So, by the name itself, it's caring. So, it's called kare kare or care care in English. So, as you can see, we have all the ingredients in front of me. So, if you're ready, let's go. So, our ingredients for today. Number one is our oxtail beef or beef oxtail. We use oxtail beef because if we don't, if we don't, if we use the beef lean meat, it, there's there's no, uh, it, it's not uh, appropriate for this dish. So here in this country, we normally use oxtail meat. So that that is this, and we're going to boil it soon. The next one is we have pak choy, we have fine beans, we have fish sauce, we have ground pepper whole kernel pepper, we have onions, and we have mamacitas or kare kare mix, and uh, we can also add a little bit of salt later on if we need to, depending on how um, how salty uh, the, cook, the taste of our cooking we, we want, okay? And I think I am uh, forgetting one more uh, ingredient, which is... Uh, peanut butter so I'm gonna get it so guys I nearly forgot peanut butter so there you go that's one ingredient that we should not forget okay so from uh, this time uh, we are going to boil now the meat so we're going to put our oxtail meat onto the nearly boiling water there you go. Before we boil our meat, we should wash them a couple of times, one by one. And after we wash them, we wash our hands too. So that's how I did earlier. Just to make sure our cooking is safe and we do not have any food poisoning. There you go. I think it's going to be a lot. In that case, we're not going to cook all of it. So, I will not overfill our pan. I think one more. That's it. I'm going to put all of this. Uh, I would need a bigger pan and I'm not going to do that because I will be hungry in about two hours time so today Mother's Day I want to enjoy our day it's a special day and I'm doing the all the cooking since breakfast so my beautiful wife will not be doing anything for today so now it's uh, I think uh, our oxtail is boiling now going to remove the impurities there we don't need that that's the dirt or the impurities so we have to scoop it all 
pull a bit as much as possible. There we go. We are just careful to remove them little by little. It's not that much, but uh, it's good if we can manage to take all of it out. There you go, I think I have managed to remove most of it. And now uh, we're going to put some whole peppercorn while we are boiling. That will remove the smell of the beef and give uh, a bit of flavor. And also, we are going to put our cebuyas, our chopped, big chopped onion. There you go. That'll do. So we will continue to boil this for about two and a half to three hours. Because, you know, oxtail is a bit hard, so it takes a lot of it's a, it takes a longer time to boil it so we will close it and come back later on see you see you soon okay so let's have a look there you go my friends it's boiling okay What I did was, I bought this oxtail meat from a local butcher in our town and I asked them to slice it thinly so it's, uh, it's uh, easier to eat later okay so that's the update of uh, our oxtail meat for our kare kare recipe and I'm going to cover it again and give you another update later on all right folks let's open our oxtail again so it's nicely boiling so we'll leave it so as i said earlier we are gonna boil this or we're boiling this for about two and a half hours to three hours if it's still not uh, that um, soft enough lower the fire to just medium and then see you soon again okay so it's been boiling and I have reduced the water now so now by this point in time we're going to put or mix the kare kare mix okay so this is how are we gonna do it We mixed the mix or the karekari mix, I should say. Okay, I'm gonna put it. It's a bit hot, so be careful. And by the way, you have an option guys, if you wanted to put beef cube, then you can do that. Okay, so after we have put the, or we have put the curry curry mix, now it's time to put the peanut butter. For this amount of meat that we are cooking, it's appropriate to put two spoonfuls of peanut butter. So 
that's one and two. Then we can stir to mix. Oh, I can't wait to eat this. Again, I'm now hungry. We leave it to boil for about one to two minutes. Okay, so we have poured some ingredients. Now we are going to put our fine beans. We are in the last part of our cooking. So we're nearly there. And also we are going to put some of my favorite ingredients. Let me dry my hand. And then we are going to put a bit of the fish sauce. So we are going to put two spoonfuls of this. That's one. Two. Okay, so we leave it for a few minutes before the fine beans cooked and then we're going to put the pak choy and that will be it and then of course we are going to uh, make or cook the sauce or the baguong sauce or the dip for the kare kare okay now so this is cooked now that is cooked so we're going to switch that off now we are now going to cook our sauce or the uh, the baboong dip or the paste, the shrimp paste. We are going to saute the garlic. So this is hot. Take the garlic now. Mm, I can smell the garlic. It smells nice. I can't wait because the kare kare, I mean the meat, is already cooked. We are just cooking our dip or our bagoong or the shrimp paste dip okay so now our garlic is brown we are going to put our bagoong or our shrimp paste Shout out to my friend Paul from Level 8 A West who loves this kare kare. After we have put the uh, the bago on, now we're going to pour our vinegar. There you go. And now we are not going to mix this. We are going to wait for the when it boils. Okay, we're gonna close it. So that's about two minutes, I suppose. Now we go we go back to our uh, main pot or our main pan because it's cooked as I've said, as you can see it. We are going to put our 
we're going to put our pak choy. We, I normally put pak choy the very last minute when you already have switched the uh, thing off. The thing. So we're gonna put the pak choy now. So it will be, it will be cooked by the steam of the pan. It's easier, this is easier, easier to be cooked because salad master, as you all know that the heat is evenly, evenly working inside the pan. So there you go. We just close that. And now this is boiling. With the dip, you have the option of putting sugar because the next ingredient is sugar this is about three spoonfuls of sugar you have the option if you want a bit a little bit uh, taste of sweetness or sweet then you can put sugar but if not you have the option not to put sugar for us my wife since this is a recipe she always put sugar which everybody loves it from all the towns nearby so let's put all of it Just wait for this to mix in about two minutes time and everything is cooked in two minutes okay guys it's not two minutes yet but the uh, goal our goal now is to to make the liquid become solid so uh, not that very solid, but it's not uh, the consistency is not like this so That will take a while. Okay, so we'll leave it and I'll see you again soon All right guys, so now I think this is cooked now, so we're gonna taste it Wow, this is cooked, so I'm gonna switch this off. There you go, guys. Everything is cooked. Put this down. I don't want to overcook that. I'm gonna put it there and put this here. This one here. Okay, so now, so finally, guys, our kare kare. It's now cooked and we can start celebrating Mother's Day. Okay, so we're gonna taste now. Sorry for the noise. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Just take one piece, one of the pak choy. And of course, we are going to get our dip or our bamboong na sao sawan. I'm gonna use this just a little in. We are going to eat. So to all of you who are eating dinner, or Mother's Day dinner. Happy Mother's Day to all of you. Right. So we'll see. Mm. It's very tender. The meat is very tender. It's cooked. It's not overcooked. It's not undercooked. It's the perfect, um, a perfect cook, I should say. It's very tasty, very delicious. So for all of you out there who who's been wanting to see, or for uh, those of you who's been wanting to copy or to cook uh, Joyce's recipe, this is now your very chance, your opportunity to cook 
the way she cooks it. Okay, so uh, I give the cre I, I give the all the credits to to my wife Joyce, who's res uh, who's uh, who owns this recipe. Well, not originally, but her her own version is uh, being loved by many. Okay, so shout out to Gladys who loves this so much as well, and everybody out there. And also, since uh, today is Mother's Day, I'd like to greet all my sisters. My sisters, Prosy, Agnes, Dina, Pem, Net, Lisa, and Mona, who are all mothers. So I have seven sisters. And my sister-in-law, Vicky, happy Mother's Day. And to my niece, the daughter of Farrell, my brother, my only brother, her name is Joyce as well. She is a mother of Leo. And regards to Shar as well and also um, who else oh my my mother-in-law who I greeted earlier uh, during the first part of the video my mother-in-law who is uh, Meli Mendoza Nay, kamusta po kayo? how are you and regards to Tatay and also to my sisters-in-law at the Yogi to Mylene and Jane who are mothers and of course to Vivian who is also a mother to her ina anak <laughs> or to some of her cats. So happy Mother's Day to all of you, my sisters, Nai, and to my sisters in law, and to all the mothers all around the world. I know today is not the, uh, the Mother's Day celebration in the Philippines, but I would like to take this opportunity to greet you all, all the mothers at JCSGO in the Philippines. Uh, the, the number one is my Dinang. Our senior pastor Vicky Sebastian, regards to Ninong Bishop J, and to my Komare, Pastor Wang, and to all the pastors, to Pastor Lilibet, to all of you, uh, who else, and also to Mary Marlin and everybody there, and of course to all the to my colleagues from Level Eight A West. To all the mommies there, uh, happy Mother's Day to all the Pinoys in Plumpton, to in Plumpkins Ward, happy Mother's Day to all of you. And to the JLWC mothers, happy Mother's Day to all of you. To Koi, to Malu, to Ned, to Ate Emma, and to everybody there. Okay, so uh, it's too many of you. I wouldn't be able to mention all of your names, but shout out to all of you. And uh, with that, I am leaving you a happy, happy, good evening. Uh, may this uh, day be a blessing to everyone, especially uh, this recipe is uh, very special to, to us. And this is our uh, happy Mother's Day special and gift to all of you who's been wanting again to, to cook this uh, recipe, Kare uh, Kare, the version, the very version of Joy Tando. And again, it's now my version since I'm doing the cooking and in my, it's in my channel. There you go, guys. So thank you very much. Good night. Mabuhay. Sadios. Ang papuri.